Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Eddie Career here, also known as Eddie's Photo. How y'all doing today? Today, I am back with a thumbnail making video. Last time we made a thumbnail, it was of KSI. How to make a thumbnail just like KSI in Photoshop. And then I thought, what group is KSI in? Well, he's in the Sidemen. And what do the Sidemen sometimes do? They play games. Ah, comes full circle, all right? Today, I am showing you how to create a gaming thumbnail in Photoshop. There are many different ways of doing it, but in this video, I'm gonna be doing it based off a little bit of the Sidemen and add my own twist to it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so here I have a couple thumbnails I'm looking at. First, I was looking at the more Sidemen thumbnails and then an actual Sidemen and the gaming ones on their more sidemen channel obviously you can see a theme here obviously looking at this it doesn't seem like much it is a very simple thumbnail with a gaming thumbnail you don't want that much going on to be honest you want to see people reacting and you want to see the game very clearly so without further ado let's do it i already have my blank canvas but i'm going to show you how to make one you're going to go file new uh, in Photoshop, I already have a custom one set to 1920 by 1080, 72 PPI. So obviously, if you don't have one set up, you'd come over here and name your preset thumbnail. Um, width would be 1920, and then the height would be 1080. Make sure it is in the horizontal mode. YouTube does have a file size limit of 2 megabytes, so you can't make the resolution that high. So 72 is going to work great for this. All right, 8-bit, everything else you can leave alone. Go ahead and hit create. Boom, I'm gonna close out the last one. All right, looking at this, what do we got? We got two people reacting. We got a monster truck. So maybe monster trucks have something to do with the video, all right? Then you got these two monster trucks over here. Honestly, I'm assuming this in particular is grabbed from in-game, but these are definitely just grabbed off of Google. The logo is grabbed off of Google, the fire, the background. So for most of these, just grab it off of Google. That's 90% of our job done. We don't have to use that many of our own elements in this, but you will have to use yourself. I'm only one person. So I had to take multiple photos of me in different outfits. Two things you could do. You could either grab a screen cap of the video and use that as a reaction, or if you want to set it up as most YouTubers do, then you can do that. Here you can obviously see that he's not going to have that reaction. He's gaming. Like their hands are gonna be on the keyboard. So obviously these are set up. So for my channel, I use a lot of pre-made reactions. So all I literally did was take a bunch of photos of myself. I used a green screen, kind of sucked. I need a, like, it's not a real green screen, but it works really well in Photoshop. So on, the, so on this canvas, I'm gonna go file, place embedded. I'm gonna look for reactions that like really pop out a little bit. So this is one I'm looking like confused. And then I'm gonna grab another one. I want more of a shocked expression. So this one works well. My hair is getting really crazy, guys. It's like, it's a little bit curly, a little bit wavy. All right, what I wanna do is get a cutout of these. Photoshop, if you have the latest up-to-date version, has a feature called object selection. This makes it really simple to get cutouts of your object. Obviously, works a lot better if you're on a green screen. If you're not, it's gonna grab different elements in the background. If you're not gonna be doing the green screen, you wanna make sure your photo's pretty well lit like this, and you might have to make some fine tune adjustments. This is not a perfect green screen. I had to sit down in a chair. The green screen I'm using here is only like four feet tall. I'm a little bit taller than four feet. So I'm gonna come over here, four down into the toolbar. I am going to be on the quick selection tool. Since I'm on that already, I'm gonna hit select subject. This is gonna use Photoshop's AI to try to grab it and it grabbed it really well. This is what I'm assuming they do in the thumbnails already. I'm gonna put the cursor above myself, above the selection. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna hit layer via copy. That's gonna take the selection and create a new layer out of it. So I'm gonna turn off all the other layers and then turn off the background layer. So as you can see here, I am, well, I'm, at, I'm by myself, perfect. If I really wanna nitpick, I can take the eraser tool and literally get rid of most of the green areas. That's if you're really trying to nitpick. If you're just trying to get a quick thumbnail out, then you really don't need to do that. Alrighty, so I got this one, and I need to do the other one. So I'm gonna bring this back up, 
grab the selection tool and then hit select subject. Obviously, I don't want it facing the same way. If I wanted it to look like there was multiple people, then this would be perfectly fine, but I don't in this situation. So I want myself to be facing the other way towards my other person. It's me. So I'm gonna hit edit, transform, flip horizontally, and then boom, I am facing the other way. I'm a little bit too small on the screen, so I wanna make myself a little bit bigger. I'm gonna grab the first layer, so I'm gonna click on myself, hit Control T, or if it's already selected for you, grab the arrow, pull it out. I'm going to tilt it a little bit to give it form, and that way I have more real estate on my canvas, more room to work with. I wanna pretty much cover literally the entire frame, so I'm gonna hit Enter, boom. I'm gonna grab the other one, tilt it again, bring it up. And then I don't want myself too far into here, so I'm gonna bring it over here. Now I want you to note something. I did not get my entire hand in this, so I am unfortunately gonna have to push it up to the top. That way it doesn't look, well, stupid, you know. So in this one, they use the sky. Um, in this one, I'm going to do something similar. Obviously, I don't want to blatantly copy them, so I'm actually going to do something different. I'm going to do, do space. So this theme, let's do a GTA in space theme. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to do it, all right? So I'm going to go here to images. I don't want any legal trouble, so I'm gonna go here, usage right, and in Creative Commons license, this allows you to use just anything um, without being copyrighted or sued or... I don't think you can legally get sued over a thumbnail, but yeah. Alrighty, I placed it and then I'm going to make it bigger. So I'll take up the entire screen, perfect. Then I'm going to bring it behind every other layer, just like that. All right, so we got that going on, beautiful. Now let's get some elements from GTA. Alrighty, so I got that going on. I am going to place the GTA characters. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna bring myself to the side a little bit more, that way I have more real estate. I'm gonna bring this towards smack middle. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Obviously it's in space, so I am going to actually add on a helmet for him. All right, that's actually a pretty good fit. Now, obviously, if you were to look at this, you can't really tell what's going on. So I'm going to grab this layer and the helmet layer. I'm going to merge the layers. So I'm gonna grab both these layers. I'm going to right click on the layer and then merge. Now that this is together, I'm going to make this stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to go down here. I'm gonna go down to FX. I'm gonna hit stroke. Now it's going to create a line around the image. And by image, I mean the cutout that you just placed. You can mess with how big this is. I'm gonna make it about 13, that looks pretty good. I'm actually going to do something similar on myself. So I'm gonna go to each layer of myself. I'm gonna go to outer glow and I'm gonna do this for both of them. That way we're standing out a little bit more. We're not done just yet. I'm gonna add the rockets that I grabbed from earlier. Alrighty, I just added both of them. Now I'm going to grab some fire from Google and place it behind them. All right, I got the layer of fire. I'm going to downscale it and then put it behind the rockets. I'm gonna hide the middle layer for now. The background layer, I'm going to lock it. I'm going to, I'm gonna click on the layer, lock it over here, and then bring this over here. I'm gonna turn it, that way it makes sense with the fire. Looks like it's coming out more from there. I'm gonna make sure it's behind. There we go. I'm gonna duplicate it by hitting Alt or Command, and then bringing it over here. I'm gonna flip it, that way it doesn't look as obvious, now we got rockets, reactions, and character in the front. Now last piece before we do the final touches, we need a GTA logo. All right, I'm gonna bring this down below just like that, perfect. All right, all right. now that I have all the layers together, I'm gonna get rid of what I don't need, and I'm going to basically flatten the image, but I am not going to just directly flatten it in case I wanna change something in the future. I'm gonna grab all the layers, I'm gonna make sure they're unlocked, I'm gonna hold shift, grab all of them. I'm gonna bring it on top. Now those layers, I'm gonna right click and hit merge. Now this is literally just combining all the layers, putting it on top. I'm gonna hit control, shift, alt, and then click on it. It is only going to show this layer and nothing else. Something that gaming YouTubers do is saturate the hell out of their thumbnails. So I'm going to hit control U. I'm going to saturate literally the entire frame. Um, this is a little bit too extreme, so I'm gonna bring it down. But obviously you can tell from here, this is natural skin tones to here, 
and then if I bring it down, this literally basically looks almost black and white. So it's all about how much you want it to like stand out. If you look at the Sidemen photos, they are pretty, pretty saturated. They are not this orange. All right, so there we got our thumbnail. Now we have one last part. We are going to add an HDR. So I'm basically going to sharpen the hell out of it. That way it looks really... It looks deep fried, as some people say. And that's a little bit too much, so I'm gonna bring it down. So this is regular. Um, looks a little bit soft, so I'm gonna bring it up. That way it makes it sharp. This basically allows you to see it better from a distance. Um, that's literally pretty much all it does, to be honest. This, as you can see, is very flat in terms of color, or at least compared to this. That is why you saturate your thumbnails. 90% of what makes you want to click on this is actually the color. Normally on YouTube, you'd see it like this. It'd be a really small thumbnail. If it was how it was normally, you'd be like, oh, whatever, skip over this. But with a little bit of color, that's when your brain tells you, hey, oh, color. Let me look at this. Especially younger audiences like kids who love gaming videos and are attracted to color. This is going to work. I, it, that's that that it works. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for today. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like. Let me know how I did. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Let me know if this helped you at all. Hope you guys are doing well. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers, so subscribe now to become a part of the photo fam. I'm trying to get out more, do more vlogs, but it ain't that easy. I've been working a lot and well, I want to keep entertaining y'all. So indoor videos it is, alright. Love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Catch you guys in a little bit. Peace. <laughs>